Alright, so I received a request from Bahia142 on to do some tests. Uh, he says he's doing it for a project, but I'm actually interested to see how I can do this. Uh, there's uh, six things I need to do. The first one is how long can I hold my breath while sitting still. And to do this, I'm going to sit still for a while uh, just to get my heart rate normalized. And then I'm going to try it. second one is can I blow up a water balloon or other novelty balloon. The third one is how long can the person exhale. And for this, you use a cup of water and a straw so you can use bubbles to prove it. Um, the fourth of which is how long can the person do a lip trill, which we all know is um, maybe I'll do that in slow motion. How long? And then the fifth one is how long can the person hold a note? Sixth one is how long can the person hold the breath underwater? And it says for this one you use a small bowl of water and submerging just your nose and mouth. And he also asked me to solve a cube underwater. And at the moment I cannot do that because I don't have a pool. Uh, but I believe I will soon because I have a friend that has a public pool in the neighborhood. So Bahia 142, let's get started. Alright, test number one. How long can I hold my breath? I've been sitting still for a few minutes and I'm trying to stay relaxed just so I can do it longer. Um, and me being in swim team, um, I know how far I can take my breath limits because we do drills where we're supposed to hold our breaths for whole laps at a time. So, I guess it's a bit of an advantage, but my disadvantage is I'm very out of shape right now. I'm getting in shape um, because I have summer swim team soon. But, yep, let's, let's do this. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug my nose and close my mouth and um, see how long I can do it. And I'll put a little timer down here for each thing. Okay, that's good. My uh, lungs started burning a little bit, so I just stopped. I think that was a little under a minute. Uh, probably 40 seconds or so, which is not bad for being out of shape. Um, yeah, I, with swim team, you can, you learn that you can hold your breath longer than you used to think because they, you know, I, because you're getting cardio and yeah, whatever. So next test, let's do it. So for test two, you're supposed to blow up a balloon or a novelty uh, toy, uh, novelty balloon, but I don't have any because I've recently moved. But I do have an old video of actually me blowing up a water balloon and popping it. Um, and it's kind of proof that, um, yeah, it, you should be able to judge it based off of it. Uh, this was, I believe, two, 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 two years ago, so go ahead and watch it. <sighs> So the third test is you get a straw and you get a cup of liquid, preferably water because it's see-through, and you, in one breath you blow out as long as you can and the bubbles will be proof of how long it goes. And based on it I will be judging the bottom of the straw when the bubbles come out, that way I get a more accurate time. So I'll take a drink of us. Take a few deep breaths. That's what you always do before you hold your breath.
Uh, I got some water in my hands, but that's all right. I probably should have had it a little less filled. Uh, I, I did not check how much time that was, but it would be right here-ish. All right, now it's time for the fun part of doing a lip trill. I'm not going to do it in slow motion just because that would make the video longer, but I'll do it anyway, and yeah, so. Uh, there's several ways to do lip trill. One of them is like to do this, but that's for singing. I'll just do the regular one without touching your face, so. Ah, I felt like a jackhammer. Number five, how long you can hold a note. Now, I'm not a singer, but I can, I guess, hold a note. Um, I actually despise singing, but I do it sometimes anyway. I'm just going to do a low note and pretty common sense. Um, so yeah, here we go. That was very much a fail. Um, I know I went up and down a little bit, but on to the last test. And the final test is to see how long you can hold your breath underwater. In the video, or in the in our discussion, I was talking about how I can't I don't have access to a pool at the moment. So he said I could use one of these. It's just a bowl filled with water, um, not to the brim obviously, because when I stick my head in, I will displace the water. So pretty much this will. Um, be controversial because this is, uh, water is probably about 60, 70 degrees, uh, whatever the temperature out of the tap is, and if your body is exposed to temperature that uh, low, you can sometimes hold your breath longer. So, um, yeah, but this is pretty much just the water you would normally drink out of like a refrigerator or something, so, yeah, let's do this. And, uh, yeah. All right, if you do something like that, never blow bubbles out of your nose. That makes it harder to hold your breath. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching. And um, the reason I did this is just because someone requested me to do it. And I'm actually, in, I was interested to see how long I could hold my breath. I'd never really tested myself in that kind of stuff. And possibly, like, say, three, two or three, maybe even a month from now, I will make another one of these because then I will be in very good shape from swim team and, and I'll maybe like do a little graph or something of how much better I did uh, as I was in shape. So thank you guys for watching. Please like if you, thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more, uh, not necessarily more of this, but more other great videos and vlogs and stuff like that. And if you have any questions or any more challenges you have for me, then go ahead and put them in the comments and I will see you guys next time.